I am back, y'all. I had, I had, a, I had a lot more to say, but I did not have enough room to uh, say more things in the, in the, in the part one of my video in which I talk about the Tash Peterson, the, 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 the interview of Tash Peterson by Pierce Morgan on the Pierce Morgan Uncensored show. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't able to say everything because I did not have enough room. I, there were uh, other other vi I had other videos on my phone, so I couldn't finish. But I'm able to finish now. Um, yeah, man, I, I I ran I ran it back, not all the way, but I ran it back. What did you go by the name Vegan or Vegan? Who did you know what? The person, the the other lady is Tommy Laren, the conservative influencer, the one that was the, uh, the other lady. This is Tash Peterson, vegan activist. Tommy Laren, the the last lady you just saw. Abattoir, 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 abattoirs means slaughterhouses. That's it's an, uh, that word is synonymous to slaughterhouses. People in the UK say it. People in Australia say it. Abbot people in you a lot. I haven't. I never heard anybody from America say abattoirs. I, uh, I said abattoirs in one of my vegan raps before, but I never heard any. If if my memory is right, my memory could be wrong, but yeah, abattoirs, a b a t t o i r s, abattoirs, slaughterhouses. Sixty five percent. Most vegan companies in this country lack a consumer demand now. I think people have got they're fed up with it. I think one of the reasons is they're fed up with being shouted at. You, all these people that run the restaurants and place their sounds just screaming out of those abattoirs and so on. I don't get passionate about it. I think it's very off putting. It's a bit like the Just Stop Oil protesters doing a lot of their stuff. It just annoys people. Like the opposite effect is what you hope. Yeah. Is, um, sad, um, a plenitude of non vegans sadly lump all vegans under the same umbrella. A plenitude of, ve of non vegans, of non vegans sadly lump all vegans under the same umbrella as if they're all toxic, terrible, horrible, tyrannical, evil, wicked, un uh, disgraceful, scummy, detestable, acrimonious. Uh, it's, it's, it, is, it is indubitably sad that a lot of, not, of non-vegans make blanket statements and say that all vegans are terrible be, uh, just because some vegans just because just because some vegans are terrible just because of what just because of of what some vegans do is yeah, it's, it's crazy man it's not fair to make it's it's, it's it's not fair but it's the reality man it's, it's 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 unfair to make blanket statements to make uh to lump lump all people in one group under the in, in one group under the same umbrella as if they're all trash, garbage, rubbish, whatever you want to say that's synonymous, man. It's, it's not fair, it's not wise, it's not prudent, it's unsagacious, it's injudicious. It, it doesn't make sense, man. But I understand, I understand why a, a plenitude of non-vegans lump all vegans under the same umbrella there. And uh, the rat, the radical vegans, bro. They're they're tyrannical. They're dictatorial. They're domineering. They're controlling. They're toxic. They're condescending. They make it. They're 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 exclusivistic. They make it seem like they're superior to non-vegans. And I, yeah, that that energy is whack. That energy is whack. Yeah. So I understand why, but it's it's it's. It's not good to have that mindset that all vegans are terrible 
just because some vegans are 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 goofy, corny, weird, whack, whackola, trashola. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, man, the blanket statements gotta stop. The bigotry gotta stop. The 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 negative assumptions gotta stop. The preconceptions gotta stop. The prepossessions, the prejudgments, the prejudice, the prejudicial statements, the the low vibrational statements they gotta cease, man. This this is 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 it's terrible, man. It's, it's it's not good, man. The people that make blanket statements, the non-vegans that make blanket statements are toxic. And the radical vegans, the radical vegans are toxic, toxic as well, man. Uh, toxicity is not good. It's it's deleterious, man. It really is, man. Toxicity needs to be eliminated. It need it, it needs to be eliminated, man. There's 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 a lot of laudable vegans, man. There's a lot of good vegans, but they you know, they get they get lumped in with everybody else in the vegan community, bro, because of what vegan radicalists do, because of what vegan extremists do. And that's yeah, that's that's corny, bro. That's wicked that's wicked corny, man, in, in, in my candid opinion. There's sounds screaming out of the and so on. Like There's good and bad people in all communities and all groups. You, you cannot lump all. No, I don't think so at all. I think it brings more attention to the animal holocaust. Animals are subjected to rape, torture, enslavement, abuse, and murder. And I'm bringing light to that. And no, I don't think so at all. I think it brings more attention to the animal holocaust. Animals are subjected to rape, torture, enslavement, abuse, and murder, and I'm bringing light to that. And I'm saying. Why do you use the word? I mean, why use the word Holocaust? Holocaust is the mass extermination of more than 6 million Jewish people by Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. Well, that's why would you, one Holocaust in history. Why would you, why would you, why would you, people know that as the Holocaust. Why would you use that? In fact, it's very emotive language, going into the fender lot of people. Well, it's just a factual statement. If you look at the definition of a Holocaust, it is slaughter or destruction on a mass scale. Multiple Holocausts have occurred throughout human history, and right. non-human animals can be subjected to the same atrocities that, that humans can. In yeah. fact, it's the largest Holocaust in history, with three trillion individuals brutally murdered every year for human food consumption. All right, Tommy, you're from a ranching family. Uh, I don't know about you, I just find, I don't mind people being... Busy. Tommy Laren right here, conservative yeah. influencer like from... Tommy Laren is fearless. Tommy, you're from a ranching family. Uh, I don't know about you. I just find I don't mind people being vegan. That's you know, the name of her show. Tommy Laren is fearless. Some of the reasons why they don't want to, but it's a choice. She is fearless. That's a fact. I, I venerate her bravery to say how she candidly feels about things, man. She, yeah. Yeah, she she has the courage. She has the bravery, man. I I, I really do people venerate eat, and praise her 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 courageousness and her fearlessness. Care about animals and so on. Although I would point out, animals eat a lot of animals. It's just a reference to natural eating. People being vegan, you don't want to eat people. In fact, it's the largest Holocaust in history, with three trillion individuals brutally murdered every year for human food consumption. All right, Tommy, you're from a ranching family. Uh, I don't know about you, I just find, I don't mind people being vegan. You don't want to eat meat, it's absolutely fine. I get some of the reasons why they don't want to, personal choice, you know, they care about animals and so on. Although, I would point out, animals eat a lot of animals. It's just a reference to natural eating. Um, what do you think about this whole vegan debate? Are we getting bored with it? It seems to me, from all the sales and the UK and stuff, it's kind of going out of fashion. Like, it was a fan for a lot of people, they've gone back to... Yeah, I wanted to say this too, man. Just because animals eat other animals, that doesn't mean that humans have to eat animals. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, we, animals are not needed for human sustenance. I said this multiple times before. There, there is, there is, a, pl there is a, uh, a plenitude of plant alternatives, man. There's a plenitude of plant options, bro. Plant-based milks, plant-based uh, yogurts, bro. Plant-based different things, bro. There's there's a there's an abundance. There's an abundance of plant-based options. So, and yeah, you don't yeah you know, humans don't need animals for for sustenance for survival, bro. Uh, unless uh, we we don't need animals to. For survival, unless we're in extreme situations, bro. Unless, 
unless we're in ex extreme situation situations, unless we unless that's the unless an animal is the only thing that's there, then that's different. Then that's different. But yeah, outside of that, we don't need yeah, we don't need animals for survi survival, bro. So to say to say that to, to say yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's 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 an excuse, bro. A lot, a, a lot of non-vegans say that they 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 use that as an excuse to to. Nah, that's not an excuse, bro. People make meat. You don't want to make meat. It's absolutely fine. Like, Animals are not meat, meant for human they consumption. They're not they're not meant for for human consumption. What do you think about this whole vegan debate? Are we getting bored with it? It seems to me from all the sales and the events, it's kind of going out of fashion. Like it was a fad for a lot of people. They've gone back to munching meat. Or vegan. People being vegan. You don't want to eat meat. It's absolutely fine. I get some of the reasons why they don't want to. Personal choice. You know, they care about animals and so on. Although I would point out animals eat a lot of animals. It's the correct food naturally. Um, what do you think about this whole vegan debate? Are we getting bored with it? It seems to me from all the sales and the events, I'm it's kind of going out of fashion, like it was a fad for a lot of people. They've gone back to munching meat. Well, veganism is an Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, I think a lot of people realize that it. Tommy, you're from a ranching family. Uh, I don't know about you, I just find, I don't mind people being vegan. You don't want to eat meat, it's absolutely fine. I get some of the reasons why they don't want to, personal choice, and they care about animals and so on. Although, I would point out, animals eat a lot of animals, it's the correct food naturally. Um, what do you think about this whole vegan debate? Are we getting bored with it? It seems to me from all the sales and the events, it's kind of going out of fashion. Like it was a fad for a lot of people. They've gone back to munching meat. Well, veganism is an ethical oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think a lot of people realize that it wasn't, in fact, a healthier choice because when they choose this beyond meat or these other substitutes, it's actually just packed with different fillers. So it's not actually this cleaner option like a lot of people thought at the onset of the whole vegan craze. But I got to tell you, speaking of the animal holocaust, which I think is a ridiculous thing to say, I'm from a ranching family. I'm from a ranching state. There is nobody that cares more for their animals than those in the ranching and farming communities. Now, I'm against factory ranching and farming as well, by the way. I think that that's atrocious. I'm an animal lover. But as somebody who comes from a ranching family, I can tell you that ranchers and farmers care for their livestock dearly. Yes, it does, at the end of the day, turn into a product for human consumption. But that doesn't mean that it's always inhumane, that it's always disgusting, that it's this animal holocaust or genocide. As I don't I don't think there's a such thing as humane slaughter. I said this before. There, there is no such thing as humane slaughter. Uh, yeah, she she's entitled to her opinion. Uh, I disagree with 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 what she's saying respectfully. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any hate for a detestation for uh Tommy Lahren. Uh, I think you know Tommy Lahren makes sense about a lot a lot of things, but as far as as far as this, I I I don't agree with her on this. I think she yeah nah. Yeah, I don't. There's no such thing as humane slaughter in my. In, yeah, there's no such thing, bro. There's no such thing. The, the, yeah, the, this. Like I said before, the the cage free, uh, animals and the caged animals. They they, as far as both the, the they 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 both, they both get slaughtered. The, uh, the animals in both get, get slaughtered, bro. The the result is the same. So, it it, it yeah, you know, cage free is not necessarily better than caged. Cage free is. Uh, cage free is a, is a is. In in the cage, as far as cage free, there's not as many. There's not a, a, there's not as much misery. There's not as much suffering, uh, cruelty. There's not as much. There's not as many uh, actions. There there is there is not as many cruelties in cage free. But it's 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 not cage free. is not completely cruelty free, man. The uh, the cage free hens, bro. They uh. 
the cage free hens, it, uh, as far as the male hens, there's no economic benefit. The, the male hens cannot lay eggs, so uh, the male hens end up getting slaughtered. They end up getting sh getting shredded alive because they they're not they're economically useless. They're economically worthless. Uh, they're seen as economically useless. They're seen as ac economically worthless because they cannot lay eggs. They, um, yeah, they, they, they cannot be commodified. They cannot be turned into commodities. They cannot be turned into. So, yeah, they cannot. They cannot be. They can. Uh, these 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 biz these uh these businesses. In the industry, they cannot uh, they cannot profit from male hens because male hens cannot lay eggs. Only female hens can lay eggs. So, yeah, bro, they they end up getting shredded alive. They end up, yeah, it's 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 crazy, bro. It's really crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, yeah, yeah. K even even though yeah, even though cage free is less. It's less miserable. That doesn't mean that it's the that is complete that it's devoid of mistreatment, devoid of abuse, devoid of sub uh, of pain. It, yeah, bro. Uh, the the beaking happens in the in the cage free. The uh the beaking happens. The beaking is synonymous to beak trimming. Uh, the beaking is the the beaking is the uh, is the removing of part of a of a hen's beak. Uh, yeah, bro, it's 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 crazy, man. It's crazy. It really is, bro. It's it's painful. The beaking is painful, bro. It, it, yeah, they're they Yeah, it's terrible. It's horrible. It's indubitably horrible, man. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah, bro. They the cage free the cage free hens they're not able to go outside even though they're not in cages they're not able to go out, outside bro they're tightly cramped in these in, they, they're tightly cramped they're not able to move how they want uh to move free to move uh freely they they you know the they yeah you know, they end up getting diseases it's it's crazy bro it's crazy man. Uh, they're they're uh, there's this uh, they, they they yeah there's forced there the, the the hens are forced to to starve bro the hens are for are forced to starve before uh, then before they they get slaughtered bro before they get slaughtered they they are forced to 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 starve they don't they, they don't they don't eat yeah, bro, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Maltreatment, maltreatment, man. Abuse. It's crazy, man. That's that's not. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how anybody could be. Yeah. How 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 are certain people proponents of that, bro? Of of that. Of wildness, bro. Uh, torture that happens to animals. I don't know, man. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. Uh, I, I wanted to say this too, man. Uh, the work, the workers there, they, they, they have to wear gas masks. I, I read in this article, they have to wear gas masks because the air is so foul. If they, if they, yeah, if they don't wear those ma the the gas masks, they uh permanent lung damage can happen, bro. That's yeah, that man, that's 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 horrible, bro. Yeah, bro, the the that's that's horrible, man. The, the air is so foul. The air, you know, there's air pollution. The air is polluted because of the high stocking density, bro. The 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 high High stocking density is the number uh, the number of animals on 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 the land at any point in time. The stocking density, 
high stocking conditionality is a large number of animals on the land at a given at a at a at a at a, at a, at a particular at a particular point in time. Uh, stocking conditionality is the number of animals on 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 the land at any point in time. Yeah, it, there's no limit to the to how many uh, hens, bro. They they don't. They, there's no limit, bro. So. Bad outcomes happen. That leads to bad outcomes, bro. Air, you know, the air pollution, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. The workers have to wear gas masks. Gas masks to prevent permanent lung damage. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's wild, bro. Yeah, bro. That's, 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 yeah. That's, that's insane, bro. Cage free is, is not is not better than cage. The the result the result is the same even though ca caged is worse, but the result is still the same, man. Yeah, so it doesn't make sense to be a proponent of of. It doesn't make sense, man. I'm gonna have to do a part three of this for real. But I got more to say. I got more to say. Animal holocaust or genocide, as your guest was referring to it as. It's also really annoying to me when people try to say that animals are causing climate change. I mean, if you don't want to eat animals because you love animals, or you have a health reason that prevents you from eating animals, that's fine. But this whole environmental craze that we need to get rid of animals because they're causing climate change, that's also a step too far. And part of the reason why this whole vegan craze going out the window. Yeah, I've been at Bay Grill. Said recently I was a vegan quite a few years. Uh, he said, but I thought it was good for the environment, it was good for my health. And with time and experience and knowledge and study, I realized I was wrong on both counts. Bad for the environment, bad for his health. Yeah, he was never a vegan in the first place. He, he was. He was an ethical view against animal abuse and murder. If you're against animal abuse and murder, you never contributed to Like I said animal. before, he was plant-based. He was plant-based, plant not vegan. vegan. There's a difference. You're saying Bay Grill is a fake vegan. He never was a vegan. Vegan is a uh, like my sis, my fellow, another fellow vegan plant, uh, 